Hello, Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to discuss about what is an adverb. Uh, first of all, let me tell you one thing that uh, what is an adjective. So, adjective is a word or a group of words that describes a noun. Uh, when we are using a word, then it is uh, an adverb. When we are using a group of words, it is going to be adjective clause. Adjective clause is the one that describes noun. So today we are going to discuss what is an adverb, what is its definition. Adverbs modify or tell us more about other words. Usually adverbs modify verbs, adjectives and adverbs itself. So whenever they are going to modify a verb, when adverbs are speaking about the verb, they are going to tell us how, how often, when or where something was done. The adverb is placed after the verb it modifies. So the point over here. We are going to see the position of the adverb, how we are going to place adverb in our sentence later when we look at a uh, number of examples. But over here, the point to understand is that adverb, when modifies a verb or describe about a verb or tell, give some information about the verb, then it is going to tell us how, how often, when or where. That means it is going to describe the manner, frequency, often is used to inquire about the frequency and when or where so I mean an action is occurred whenever adverb is uh, speaking about the verb so these are the reasons or these are the motives uh, adverb is speaking about the verb on the other hand sometimes adverbs modify adjectives so whenever adverb is modifying an adjective it is going to make it more stronger or weaker the third point is adverbs can modify another adverb so whenever they are classifying or they are describing uh, adverb are describing about another adverb then it is going to change their degree or precision precision over here we means accuracy and by degree we mean to what extent whenever adverb is describing about another adverb it is speaking about precision accuracy or the degree to what extent something is going to play its role okay next we'll look at some examples okay so uh, first on the top we are going to see the example when adverb is modifying verb the bus moved slowly okay whenever adverb is modifying a verb it is speaking about adverb of manner adverb of frequency adverb of time adverb of place so over here slowly it's speaking about the manner like how the bus is moves bus is moving slowly bus moved slowly the bus moved slowly so slowly is an adverb that is linked with the verb moved over here and uh, second example the bears ate greedily so their eating style was like greedy while they were eating some food or some meat or something they were eating greedily okay so greedily is linked with the word eat its past simple form is used over here so greedily is connected with the verb okay greedily is describing about the verb and it is describing the manner in which the eating is done okay the car drove fast the third example okay how car was driven okay car drove fast so fast is an adverb that is linked with the verb drive and its past form past simple form drove okay look at another example where adverbs are modifying adjectives in these examples you're gonna see uh, adverbs are um, making adjectives stronger or weaker so look at the first example you look absolutely fabulous okay so you look absolutely fabulous over here fabulous is an adjective and absolutely is uh, is making it stronger uh, over here you look absolutely fabulous so, absolutely is linked with fabulous over here he is slightly overweight his weight has increased but slightly he is slightly overweight slightly is an adverb that is linked with the overweight overweight is, overweight is an adjective over here so slightly is linked with overweight i mean it's uh, it's gonna tell about the stronger or weaker an adjective has become you are very persistent persistent is an adjective over here very is making it more uh, making it stronger so very is an adverb that is linked with the adjective persistent describing 
adjective persistent now look at the third example adverbs modifying your adverb and changing the degree of precision of that adverb first example is she played the violin extremely well extremely speaking about the accuracy she played the violin extremely well extremely is linked with the well over here well is already an adverb so we have seen all of the examples where adverbs are modifying verbs where adverbs are modifying adjectives and where adverbs are modifying another adverb uh, look at the last example you are speaking too quietly quietly is already an adverb so too is with another adverb quietly okay it is mentioning about the higher degree of quietly and which is an adverb you are speaking too quietly okay if i say you are speaking quietly it means your voice is coming very low and uh, you are speaking quietly quietly is an adverb and by then in that case quietly is going to describe speaking and ad speaking is a verb over here okay so quietly if i don't use to i am going to say you are speaking quietly quietly is describing speak the verb but if i add to to quietly to is linked with quietly okay so it is increasing the degree of the uh, adverb quietly okay hopefully you understand the concept now move on to the next slide where we are going to see how we're going to form adverbs from adjectives in most cases an adverb is formed by adding ly to an adjective like there is a list of adjectives given cheap quick slow calm just ignore the spellings of calm it should be uh, c a l m okay cheap is an adjective but i um, these adjectives are always to be used with nouns to describe a noun this is a cheap product okay product is a noun and cheap is going to be used with noun to describe that noun but adverb when we are converting this adjective into an adverb then it is going to either and uh, describe a verb adjective or another adverb which we just saw in the previous slide okay so whenever we are going to have adjective we can simply add ly to make it an adverb like cheap cheaply add just ly to make it an adverb cheap is an adjective cheaply is going to be an adverb cheap is going to be used with the noun cheaply is going to be uh, describe a verb or adjective or an adverb itself so uh cheap cheaply cheaply is an adverb that is linked with the verb get okay and uh, quick is an adjective he, he is very quick in problem solving he is very quick so quick is an ability of his so he can solve the problems quickly okay so quickly is an adverb he can solve the problem solve quickly he can solve quickly okay so quickly is linked with the verb solve quick is an adjective so slow is an adjective that is going to be used with the noun to describe a noun and slowly we're going to make it an adverb adding ly at the end of the word slow calm calmly just add ly to make it an adverb so this is the one uh, of its kind like where we can add just ly to make an adjective into an adverb on the other hand we do have some other uh, examples as well or some other procedures to how to form adverb from adjectives and that is if the adjective ends in y replace the y with i and add ly look at the example the adjective is easy i told you already that adjective is always go going to be used with the description of a noun and uh, adverb is going to describe a verb adjective or an adverb i'm going to recall myself i'm i'm just telling it again and again so that you could mem memorize the whole concept easy is an adjective adjective is going to be used with the noun to describe a noun and easy is ending with y so the rule is that when we have an adjective that is ending with y just remove y and put in i and add ly okay so easy would become easily as an adverb easy is an adjective and uh, uh, its adverb is going to be easily okay second angry angry is an adjective angry person okay so person is a noun adjective is always going to describe noun okay adverb cannot describe a noun okay but other than noun adverb can describe any word it can describe a verb it can describe 
adjective and it can describe an adverb okay angry ending in y as an adjective we are going to remove y putting in i and adding ly angrily happy is an adjective i'm very happy happy happily and lucky it's an adverb is gonna be luckily hopefully you understand okay next is uh, when adjective ends in a b l e i b l e or l e adjective okay we are gonna replace the e with y to convert an adjective into an adverb and adjective is going to be ending with a b l e i b l e or l e then we are gonna replace e with y okay probable is an adjective probably again this is an adverb we are going to remove e and just add y to make it an adverb terrible terribly gentle gently okay so look at the adjectives there are three adjectives different kinds a b l e the first one is ending with a b l e second one is ending with i b l e and third one is going to be ending with l e okay so all these three examples have give, given as an adjective and we are just going to remove e and just adding y just add in y make it an adverb okay so look at the next one okay there's another uh, uh, procedure or there could be another form where we can uh, make adverb using adjectives and that is if the adjective is ending in ic okay so in case if adjective is ending with the with two words ic then we are going to add a double l y okay then the, but there is an exception public public is an adjective that is going to end with ic but we are not going to add a double l y rather we are just adding l y okay this is an exception over here so look at the adjective basic your basic job is to do um, accounting functions okay uh, your basic job is to do uh, calculations okay so i mean basic job job is a noun so adjective is always going to describe a noun is always going to speak about a noun so a basic as an adjective we are going to convert it into an adverb so we are going to add a double l y okay because the adjective is ending with i c so these are the procedures you need to memorize okay all these procedures how we can uh, form an adverb uh, using an adjective okay these are uh, four procedures you need to uh, memorize them by heart okay so that whenever you are going to see these kind of adjectives you can easily convert them into adverb okay and use them into your sentences okay tragic because it is ending with ic we're gonna add a double ly tragically economic economically so hopefully you understand that there is one other idea that is uh, being discussed over here some adverbs have the same form as the adjective okay these are the words alternatively we can use either as adjective or either uh, or as adverb in our sentences these are early fast hard high date near straight and wrong okay so these are the words we can change both ways either as adjectives or adverb but the fact is that when I, we are using it as adjectives of course you have to bear this in mind that they're gonna speak about a noun they're gonna describe a noun they're gonna i mean talk about noun but on the other hand when you are using these words as adverb they're gonna describe what verb adjective and adverb so look at the examples it is a fast car so car is a noun so we are using fast as a as an adjective okay he drives very fast so fast over here is linked with the word drive over here so drive is a verb so fast is used as an adverb in this sentence he drives very fast you got it uh, it is a fast car he drives very fast this is a hard exercise exercise is a noun okay hard is going to describe about the exercise this is very hard exercise to solve he works hard works is, over here is a verb he works hard hard is describing work okay the verb he works very hard very is describing hard okay where is another verb over here he works very hard he works hard hard when we are not using very hard is describing works works over here is a verb okay he works very hard where is another adverb that is going to describe hard okay this is 
speaking about the a higher degree of hard okay over here so he works hard hard is linked with the verb over here we saw many high buildings buildings over here is a plural noun and high is going to be used as an adjective over here because it is describing buildings nouns on the other hand the bird flew high in the sky so over here high is linked with the verb fly the past simple form is flew so high is used as as an adverb in the last example okay last sentence okay look at another point okay we have an adjective as good which we use in our sentences he's a good boy he's a good person he's a good man okay so over here good is always used good as an adjective but what is the adverb form of being goodness or what is the adverb form when we want to use the word good in our sentences that is going to describe verb adjective or adverb i mean adverb form of good it is going to be called well okay so whenever we are going to speak about like something good in terms of uh, action adjective or adverb we are going to use well as an adverb okay so well is the adverb that corresponds to the adjective good in our sentences okay so look at the examples he is a good student student is a noun so good is an adjective so he is a good student he studies well so study is an action i mean he studies not we're not going to say good we do want to use a word that correspond good over here so well is linked with the study studies is a verb he studies well okay he studies in good way he studies well she is a good pianist pianist is a noun so good is an adjective over here she plays the piano well okay so well cores is corresponding to the word good over here but well is describing a verb over here okay plays okay they are good swimmers swimmers a noun okay good is used as an adjective because they are describing a noun swimmers they swim well swim is a verb over here and well is a corresponding uh, adverb to the adjective good okay so they swim well well is de is describing a noun swim okay this was the last of the slides okay and in the next next lecture we are going to speak about the types of verbs and the position of adverbs so please stay connected and subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos for um, so that you can get to know about my upcoming videos thank you very much